you've been doing a string of big budget studio movies lately with Tenet, this one, Craven the Hunter. After doing some indie films, what made you feel like this was the right time to come back to this crazy world? Well, the thing about this movie is, is the originality, right? This is a movie that no, no one really, I mean, this is based off an, of a book, but like, there isn't any huge expectation behind these characters, right? For the most part, they're unpredictable. They're things that, they're, it's refreshing. So as an audience, they really just can go to see it and, and, and really fully immerse themselves in it and enjoy it. So there's something really different about this one. But um, listen, you, you know, you sign up for a David Lynch movie. And it's got Brad Pitt involved. And it's a bunch of stunts and a great ensemble. And, it, you know, it's a laugh out loud comedy. So it's a no brainer, honestly. I don't want like to get pigeonholed in certain I'm not even pigeonholed I just don't I just get bored like if I I have to keep changing it up do you know what I mean so um, I never really know what I'm going to do next and you know sometimes an opportunity is an opportunity and you and you, uh, and you go for it you know and you're filming Craven the Hunter right now how does the action work you did on this movie compare to what you're doing on that it's completely different because it's a different character right so I approach everything through the character so it doesn't really matter if it's whether it's the same stunt crew or not, or whatever it is, it's, it, if the physicality and action is involved, it's still got to be behind the lens of the character and feel true to the way that person presents themselves in those situations. So, you know. This is a huge ensemble cast. Who did you actually get to work with and film with the most? Brian Tyree Henry. He's my uh, he's my brother in arms, and this one my partner in crime. So. Uh, we, uh, we we built such a great bond and a friendship on this one. We're like literally codependent. So every time I wasn't with him, I was literally nervous to, uh, to to shoot a day. But you know, then the other person was Brad Pitt, so it's not too bad. And this is definitely a badass movie. What would you say is the most badass moment in this movie? There's some there's some real badass moments in this one. That's a real hard. You can't really pinpoint one. I mean, I think you know, watching this back, I thought Joey King absolutely kills it. Her accent's fantastic and flawless. Her, um, you know, she's a manipulative character, so it's always fun to watch. Um, Bad Bunny comes on and does his thing and kills it, and I think everyone's excited to see that too. And then there's a few little cameos that might just uh, be some nice little surprises. So. Those were some good days too. Amazing. Thank you so much. Have a great night tonight. Thanks.